So, what sort of principles have you found within each religion, and what com well, what common things have you found amongst different religions, religions, and how have you applied that to your life? Well, well um, I don't think any of the religions uh, seek or to harm each other. Yeah. Uh, but rather, uh, there are some exceptions, like everything else in the world. Uh, but I have a uh, I, I was born as a Christian, okay. but through my life, there's a point where I have to make up my mind, I have to decide what I could accept and what I could not accept. Uh, normally that's not the case with many people. Many people, they just simply are born into one religion and then continues to be like that. In my case, uh, I have learned that exploring different religions in one way or another, uh, Buddhism, uh, Muslim, uh, uh, and uh, Christianism and uh, many others who are not necessarily related to any group and and the majority of them that I learn is that they seek for a better life to yeah. understand what's at the other side of the world what's at the end of this world what's at the end of this life and to me uh, it's important what is here now how can I continue to be connected with the rest of my existence whether I believe that there is a sense of, there is a, um, many people believe and don't, others don't believe that you live more than one life. Yeah. Uh, I strongly believe that there is um, a sense of continuity. Yeah. I don't think this is limited to this time. I think that we don't, we grow, we're growing into the main creator, whoever that be or whatever that might be. Yeah. And we need more than one lifetime because um, we grow every moment. And uh, as long as we do not face that creator, whatever that might be, that energy, that source that is what created here, yeah. uh, if we are not, we have not learned enough about it, about it uh, we need to come back and try to regain or try to understand ourselves, whether it's a soul or whether it's spirit or whether it's the energy that makes us as bodies uh, exist. Yeah. And that's, uh, I mean, it's, it's not a easy subject because it's very complicated at the same time. The fact that my basis are that life is circumstantial, uh, I can try to understand that the man or woman who is sitting there homeless uh, is not worse or better than me nor the person that is up in a high position you know that's able to be rich and powerful who may be corrupted uh, I need to see those two positions and find myself that what am I here for what am I doing here in the middle uh, if I look at it that way and I think that it helps me to understand that that person that is, uh, I have to be grateful for what I have, yeah. and yet I have to be grateful for who I am, that it's giving me the opportunity to look from both directions. Yeah. So that's, that's uh, you know, again, uh, it's more than that, but that's in that show. That, that what, what I can tell you is that I have learned, and there's so much to learn. Yeah, every so day, every day, there's an opportunity for you to learn. There's an opportunity for you to grow. And it is for us to question, you know, uh, where am I going? To, what is my purpose here? Or how can I get to be a better person so I can make a better community, a better family, a better relationship with a friend, a better country, a better world, a better universe? Um, you know, that's, we need to ask that question. We need to ask. How can we more be more generous to each other? How can we be? How can I improve myself and be a better person toward you, toward the rest of the world? Yeah. And traveling has taught me that no matter where you go, um, everyone is the same. Wow. <coughs> no matter where you go, you'll find people who are good people, and there are people who are not making the right decisions. And I don't say bad people, but it's people who are not making the right decisions. For, for whatever reason may be, um, I strongly believe that whatever you are, whether it's Chinese or Japanese or American or Mexican, or no matter where in the country, we all have the same needs. Definitely, I agree with that. Yeah, 100%. So, you know, uh, everyone wants to have a better life, wants to have a better family, wants to provide for their family, whoever that may be, whether they're rich or poor. 
I don't think of any exceptions, you know. Um, I was a very uh, an anecdote. I was watching a video, a documentary last night about an individual who was a really bad person, just a criminal in general. Yet he was tender and kind and loving to his family. Yeah. So we all have this. We all have the opportunity to make the right decisions and to be kind to each other, no matter where we are. So to me, there are no borders. I don't believe in borders. Not, uh, not, not because the political situation at the present time, but by personal conviction for many years. Uh, we are human beings. Uh, the borders are there to divide us geographically or purposely done by men uh, and the objective is to break those barriers and encounter ourselves being a better human being every day I can tell you that <laughs> 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 in, a, in a nutshell right <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>